For the free features, here's the stuff that's best to know. First of all, you'll notice you get this right side sidebar on the right side of the screen. Here you have the plus button. That'll take you to all of your favorite things from the plus button on the left side. And then we get to this search bar. This search bar is basically a database of all the standard pages that exist inside of QuickBooks Online. Let's for instance say you're trying to find a report for all of your journal entries you've done recently. If I just type journal, then I will get something in here that has every single page that's relating to journals inside of here. And then here I can see there's one that's called search recent journal entries. I click on that, bam, it takes me over here. I don't have to do any kind of clicking around to figure out where everything is. I don't have to Google anything. I just literally type in the keyword and look for something that looks about right. And it's there inside of the right side toolbar. Then once I'm done with this, if I'm saying, hey, I don't want to have to search a journal every single time I want to find this specific page because I use it more often than not, then I'm going to click on this little star icon. And next time I'm in my favorites, you'll see I have search recent journal entries. Then if I want to make this maybe my second favorite, I can just drag and drop that like that and I'm good to go. Now we can talk about some of the free features that fix the quirks and annoying things that QuickBooks Online can sometimes do. First example of this is if you've ever been inside of a transaction and you went to the audit history, you'll know that it gets you into this annoying loop where you press the back button and the X button and it just never gets out of it. That's why we've made this audit history button. Simply open a new tab. Now, whenever you're done with this, you can just press the X button and next time you close this tab right here, it will take you right back to the last page you were on instead of going back to the audit history. Next, you'll notice that in a sales receipt or invoice, if you've ever changed a product or service, that if you change it, it'll change the description, quantity, and rate to whatever the default is for that item. So what we did is we created a little lock icon right here. I click that. And now if I change this to Arbor installation, you can see that the description, quantity, and rate stay the same. The only thing that changes is the tax and class depending on what the uh, product or service actually is. Next, let's say I go into a report. If you've ever been inside of a report before and you have clicked into it, you know there's a chance you lose your place. Again, staying on the topic of opening and new tabs, it will actually open inside of a new tab. So now if I go back to my profit and loss, I can see I was right here last time. If I go to my transaction report, I see I was right here. And then I have the actual transaction I uh, went into. Now what we also do here is we have this button up top as a fail safe, just in case the extension goes a little bit wonky on you, called jump to last. If I click on that, it will literally highlight the last thing I clicked on, making it so that it's never going to be a problem of losing your spot when you're working inside of QuickBooks Online. Speaking of that jump to last button, let's talk about one of my favorite free features. If I go to this reconcile page and I resume reconciliation, then what I can do is you'll notice that if I click on these, you know, reconcile buttons right here and I keep scrolling and I scroll for long enough, what's going to end up happening is that happens where it refreshes the screen. Our solution to that is a jump to last button right inside of here. And bam, the last thing I clicked on gets jumped to on the scroll bar and it gets highlighted so that I know the last thing I was working on and I can just continue going. No more having to squint to look around and find everything. Finally, let's look at the journal entry page for the last couple of things. First, if you've ever needed to print a journal entry or bill, you'll know that QuickBooks Online doesn't allow you to do that by default. So what we did is we created print buttons. You might not need to use it, but at least now you have the option to do it without having to literally take a picture of the screen with your phone or do the right click and print, which always looks a little bit ugly in my opinion. And then finally, the last feature I kind of want to show here is let's say I'm inside of a journal entry because I am fixing up a report because an account has numbers that are cut a little bit off. Instead of making a journal entry, putting the debits and credits where you may and then saving it and then seeing if the report's right and then coming back and reversing it if you have to. What we did is we created this little button right here that has arrows going up and down. You click that and bam, it shows you your debits go up with this particular account and the credits make it go down and then here the debits make it go down and the credits make it go up. Making life just a little bit easier. 
And then one more thing I just want to show real quick is if we go to customers, and I'm actually going to favorite that. And yes, I am going to leave. If I go inside of a customer like AAA construction, you'll now notice I have this thing that says P and L at the top. If I click that, it will open a new tab and it will actually have a P&L that only includes transactions for that customer, making it really easy to find uh, the profitability of a customer as long as you've been saving all of your data right inside of QuickBooks Online. Hopefully that gives you a good overview of some of my favorite free features. Thanks.